We would only offer surgery to patients who have significant disability despite having had a good non-operative treatment regimen. Once the decision is made to go to surgery, we try to get people into the operating room as quickly as possible. It's our feeling that once you've made that decision, the last thing you want to do is sit around and wait and, and, and cogitate uh, on that problem. The most common operation that we do is what I would call a lumbar decompression and fusion. So a patient comes to us with some type of nerve compression syndrome, either they have spinal stenosis or a condition called spondylolisthesis where one vertebra is malaligned uh, in relation to the one that's adjacent to it, causing pinch on the nerve. And in order to relieve the pain, we will perform an operation where we've cut away the bone and the ligament that's pinching on the nerve. And as a result of the fact that we've done a thorough decompression of the nerves in order to relieve the patient's symptoms, we then left with a spine that has some amount of instability that is not biomechanically competent anymore to sustain normal loads. In that case, we need to make sure that we've reestablished the continuity of the spine, and we do that through a fusion. We'll insert screws into the bones of the spine, into the vertebra, and we'll use metal rods to hook those screws together to make a small internal frame. And then we'll take bone material, either from the patient or we'll use uh, allograft material and use that such as a glue to make those two or three bones grow together into one bone. Patients come to us and back pain, for better or worse, spine problems, can cause a lot of anxiety. Patients have a lot of fear that they have some type of serious uh, illness that's going to cause them to lose their job or not be able to deal with their family life in the way they want to. And our philosophy is that we want to work with the patient in a way that takes the anxiety out of that issue, out of those problems so that they can understand what's going on and they can feel like they're in control of what we're doing. And then we make a decision about what's best for the patient together. Uh, and then we go forward and institute that treatment plan, whether it requires non-operative care or complex surgical reconstruction. We are able to provide all those services.